Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over a recent quiz you had using the concatenate function. Concatenate is simply a fancy word for join, so you want to join the values of multiple cells, or you want to join the value of a cell with some other text string data, and you want to make some new value. So uh, let's see, I want to go ahead and delete my answers here. And in this first problem, zoom in a bit, Use the concatenate function to produce the appropriate email address for each individual. So this first one is pretty easy, and there's really a couple of ways you can write it. There's a concatenate function, and then there's a concatenate symbol. Um, you could have done this, equals username ampersand, and by the way, that's cell A2, and then uh, simply, ooh, I need an at symbol, so quotation at symbol quotation ampersand and then the cell that contains their domain so this is not technically the concatenate function not what I wanted but I probably wouldn't have taken off points for something like this so I'm taking the value of cell a2 I'm joining it with an and symbol and then I'm taking the value of cell b2 and when I press enter I do get a resulting accurate address and if I fill this downward I get addresses for everybody so that's one technique the concatenate function isn't really more complex or more simple, but um, I'm going to press equals. I'm going to start up my concatenate function. I'll just choose it from my list, double click it. And now I simply put in the parameters, which are the things that I want to join together separated by commas. So the first thing I want, of course, is I want cell A2, which is the username comma then I want an at symbol notice I'm putting that in quotes because it's a literal string that I want I, I literally want that at symbol to show up comma what else do I want I want cell b2 which contains the domain closing parentheses to finish the function press enter there's my result autofill it down away you go so that's one um, technique right there something I what you didn't have to do this for the quiz and stuff but there's also a hyperlink function you could use to convert these into functioning hyperlinks so takes care of that one let's see what else we got so in this one pretty much the same thing let me size this so I can see everything on the screen use the concatenate function to produce the appropriate address only for folks that have a domain so some people don't have a domain which means we can't really use the same technique we did before let me delete my answer what happens if we did try the technique we did before concatenate cell a17 comma give me an at symbol comma cell b17 the domain finish the function there we go auto fill this down oh that's not what we wanted because now we're only getting accurate results for people that had both parts I'm not getting accurate results for people that didn't have a domain so in this situation I need to look and find out what's unique about people with a domain and there's really a couple ways we can do this the one I would encourage you to use um, is uh, maybe a count a function because we have some blank cells and non blank cells what does count a do equals count so we got a whole bunch of count related functions the basic count function counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers we're not dealing with numbers here count a counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty basically that contains something that can come in handy count blank counts the number of empty cells in a specified range that could probably work also so count if meets a given condition that one could be made to work also but I think it'd be a little bit more complicated and count ifs not good in this situation that's for summing but I am a big fan of the count ifs function so really uh, count a and count blank would work pretty well because count a counts cells that are not empty count blank counts cells that are empty and you could make that work either way so I'm gonna try count a count a and I'm just going to click on cell B17, finish that off, and just look at the results. Ah, interesting stuff. Notice that people with a domain have a count A of 1. People without a domain have a count A of 0 or nothing. By the way, that just looks weird. Let me just comma style that, and actually let's just do a general number. There we go. So now it makes a little bit more sense to us. So ones and zeros. If they got something, it's a one. If they don't, it's a zero. So now that I know what the count a function can do, I can simply do an equals if. If the count a of a particular cell is equal to one, then they must have something in there, right? Then 
If that's true, then I'm going to do a concatenate. Concatenate username at symbol domain, comma. Well, what if their count A doesn't equal one? Well, they must not have a domain, so I'm simply going to provide an empty set of quotes, which will give me an empty cell. Press my Enter key. Fill downward. And there we go. So now I only have email addresses for those people that have um, a domain. Uh, if you didn't want to go the count A or count blank function route, I'm willing to bet the length function would work. Let's try this. Equals len. What's the length of a cell with a domain? Look at this. People with no domain have no length to those particular cell values. So we could do the same kind of thing using a length function equals if. If the length of a, of a domain is greater than or equal to 1, well, we could just say greater than 0, then give me a concatenate of username, comma, at symbol. Oops, I clicked the wrong button there. Comma, domain. Otherwise, give me an empty cell. So if the length of the domain is greater than zero, meaning there's something in it, then give me a concatenate of the full email address syntax. Otherwise, give me an empty cell. See how that works. Once again, successful way to go. Nothing, you know, it's not better or worse. It's just a different way to go, giving you accurate results. So that's really the ultimate goal. Have fun with that one.